hello welcome back to my channel i am loving this makeup so much i had the idea of creating a mixed metal makeup look a few weeks ago uh when i did another like igtv tutorial and then today i just did this so in case you want to see how i did it there's a tutorial down below i'll link it it's on my instagram and even if you don't have instagram you can still watch the video that's something that i learned i guess <laughs> you can watch it i'll link it down below so today i'm going to be talking about empties because um I, this bag is pretty full so yeah let's talk about my trash we have a product by pacifica this was sent to me this is their coconut water micellar cleansing tonic i actually really did like this i thought it wasn't because i am not the huge hugest fan of coconut and i thought the scent was going to be overpowering to the point that it would sting around the eye area but it didn't it was very gentle kind of odd i really did like this i don't see myself repurchasing it just because i have a lot of micellar waters in my collection but i mean if you're looking for one at the drugstore that will give you kind of a scent experience this one was nice even around the eye area it wasn't irritating at all but if you're not a fan of scents then this <laughs> you should probably avoid a lot of these products were sent to me i will make note of which ones were sent which ones were purchased well if i don't mention anything then i purchased it like this guy was sent to me by retkin this is their 25 benefits one united like treatment spray it's kind of like it's a 10 but it's like it's 25 it's a lot of things honestly i enjoyed it but i don't see myself repurchasing just because i felt like it didn't do much <laughs> despite the 25 claims like i can get the same effect with a regular leave-in treatment so yeah i, I just wasn't too crazy about this glossier milky jelly cleanser i love this thing i already have a backup it's a really nice cleanser it just removes your makeup doesn't strip your skin from its moisture barrier i don't know i just really like it <laughs> i also have a little travel size because i love taking it when i go on my trips probably one of my favorite lip balms of all time this is the milk makeup kush lip balm just the the, the clear one which is in green dragon <laughs> this i literally scraped out all the product like that's how much i loved it i will be repurchasing this during like the sephora sale because i want to save some money but i think i might try one of the tinted versions instead just to switch it switch it up but i really like this not sticky hydrates really well i like the mint flavor so this was just like a two thumbs up i gave it two thumbs up this is another thing that i already have another backup this is the bare mineral skin longevity vital power sleeping gel cream so this was employee gratis i got it while i was still working at bare minerals and i love it so much it's such a light weight but still highly moisturizing night cream it's a sleeping gel it's a night cream it's a very nice night cream even for oily skin it works really well my mom has more mature drier skin and it works really well for her it's infused with hyaluronic acid so it retains moisture and it has some of the same star ingredients as the skin longevity serum that i also love that said it does have a very strong fragrance a lot of bare minerals like skincare products they do have a fragrance so if you're very sensitive i wouldn't recommend them but if your skin is tolerant of you know ginger scents and just very it smells like a spot i really like it <laughs> but if your skin's not as sensitive then get a sample just test it out but i do really like this and i already have a backup I have another glossy product this is their mega greens galaxy pack which is their more like detoxifying like face mask i actually really did like it and i do see myself repurchasing it it's not a super drying detoxifying mask so i feel like i don't know i really did like it my skin really in <laughs> skin did you enjoy it i mean my skin looked really nice and um the overall experience was really pleasant so yeah i do see myself repurchasing it is it like is it gonna perform miracles no but it is it a nice like face mask yes yeah we have a few like hair coloring products we have one two three 
we have three. Oh, no, four, five, five. That's very excessive, but as you know, I did change my hair up a lot this summer. So we have uh, Iro Iro. Somebody said that's how you pronounce it, or Iro Iro, as I would say. <laughs> Uh, these guys super potent, uh, very moisturizing. They're just messy, but they stain the crap out of your hair. So if you're looking for something affordable that will really stick in your hair, these guys are pretty nice. Then we have Overtone. This is extreme yellow that I used to mix in. Uh, really like it. You guys know how I feel about Overtone. Wouldn't repurchase this color at least at this moment, but already have espresso brown and vibrant blue at this moment so these i love uh good day young this was the rock lobster i really love the formula it reminds me a lot of overtone very very conditioning the colors are super vibrant well especially this guy and um i did like it a lot i just hope that they release more colors so i can try it out again in the future but this guy do recommend it and then finally this is the what did i use this for oh i think i tried to use this to tone my hair before i went with overtone this is the ion brights color brilliance in um oh yeah smoky amethyst so i tried to <laughs> i tried to use this to tone out the orange it didn't work so yeah there's a video on how I toned my hair and it's still a little like orangey but I need to retouch it it's been like three weeks now <laughs> it wouldn't be an empties video without a Marvis toothpaste I already have another one of this exact flavor this is the ginger mint I love it I should be sponsored by them I always say the same thing but they still don't sponsor me <laughs> Brio Gio dry shampoo this is the charcoal and biotin I like the formula, hated the packaging, will not repurchase because this packaging was absolute crap. You could never get product to come out. Super messy, I just can't be bothered, so I'm using other things. Body moisturizer, this is from Soap and Glory. This is the Righteous Butter, Butter Body, but Body Butter? I don't know. It's this guy. I bought it at Target. It smells really nice. It reminds me of, uh, of, uh, Chanel? Miss... Mademoiselle Chanel, I don't know, that fragrance with Natalie Portman. It reminds me of that one. It's nice. It's just a body moisturizer. Like, it just smells really nice. That's the only thing. Here I have another body moisturizer. This is the Curel Hydrotherapy. I thought it was fine. I got this in a Walmart beauty box. We have another product from Sally Beauty. Actually, two hair treatments. This is the Trader Joe's Shea Butter and Coconut Oil Hair Mask, and this is the Ion Color Color Defense After Color Sealer. Um, this didn't do shit. <laughs> it didn't seal any color. I bought this um, last year when I went blue, and when I first went blue, like it would stain everything everything my hands my shower towel it was just seeing everything um and yeah this didn't seal any color so i just and it's packed with a, a lot of silicone a lot so well, i don't know i didn't like it this guy i love it i have another actually i have a tube of this in the shower and another backup because both me and my mom are crazy about this hair mask we have the ogx coconut water hydration oil fairly lightweight oil um this was sent to me by ogx i liked it i don't think i would repurchase it i have other stuff that i like more now like the verb ghost oil that thing is really really nice talking about the verb ghost oil i finally finished one of these guys it took me uh, half a year to finish one of these things which I was very surprised because the bottle isn't that big but still I just need like a pump maybe two if my hair is really dry and it works so well it doesn't weigh your hair down it hydrates well helps with you know the frizziness and all that stuff so I like it I have another one we have this guy this is a deodorant this is the La Vanilla the healthy deodorant in the Vanilla passion fruit scent that I got at TJ Maxx. Really, really love this. This guy, I didn't think I was going to like it because this is one of the most like 
hyped up like natural deodorants but it's really nice very gentle the scent is really really nice as well have two oils this is the Setsuba beautifying oil by the body shop it smells really nice hydrates pretty well but I just liked it for the scent so I would repurchase it for the scent this is my favorite body body shop body they call it body shop this is my favorite body shop scent so anything Setsuma I will buy and then this guy, I've shown this before. This is the Bare Minerals Oil Obsessed Cleansing Oil. It's my favorite cleansing oil to remove my makeup. I still have a few bottles left from uh, before I quit because I just stocked up. <laughs> I was like, I need to take advantage of my employee discount one last time. So I was just like buying everything up. So yeah, I, I really like it. It's really, really nice. I like the packaging too. We have some skincare products. This is the Sunday Riley UFO oil. Great if you have oily acne prone skin like this guy. I would only use when I had like some cystic acne or some really really pesky pimples that would not go away. Like this guy was the shit and I would definitely repurchase it. Despite the high price tag, it just works really really well. So yeah man, Sunday Riley, you're expensive but you work. Then we have the Pure Lease SPF 30 sunscreen. This was sent to me. This is meant more for normal to dry skin and I have oily skin, but still I would use this when I was just at home recording, not really going out because it would make me look very shiny. But it was a gentle sunscreen. Have, I have nothing else to say. I wouldn't repurchase it for myself, but it was nice. And finally, I have the Blyth soothing and healing green tea water pack uh, i just didn't like this at all <laughs> i didn't like the scent i didn't like the packaging it was so messy to use in the shower it was just uh i don't know no i didn't like it and the verb hydrating mask uh this was nice but i like the trader joe's one better so here we are <laughs> makeup we have milk makeup kush mascara love it i already have another tube that i currently have open ColourPop BFF Volumizing Mascara. This is just the black one. I really, really love this. Super affordable, works really well, gives you good volume, doesn't smear. Love it, will repurchase it sometime in the future. Sometime, I have a lot of mascara. Another mascara, this is from Essence. This is the Volume Stylist 18 Hour Curl and Hold Mascara. This was <laughs> a little too heavy duty for me. It was very difficult to remove. I will not repurchase it. I did not like it. Um, I, it sounded great in theory, but it was a bitch to remove. So I just did not like it at all. Then we have the Julep Perkett Under Eye Treatment. It was a brightening little stick. Honestly, the <laughs> the Maybelline one does the same shit and it's so much cheaper than this. So yeah, I just mm -mm, did not like it. It was so sheer too, like it really didn't do anything at all. And plus, I'm still bitter about the whole Julep canceling the, <laughs> the subscription service and getting rid of all my points that I had saved up for years. I'm still bitter about it, so no. And finally, we have the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme. Um, it's extreme. It, it really does sting your lips and it makes them look a little bit more swollen. Um, I actually really like the sensation of this. I really like this lip gloss. Um, I already have another tube. I really liked it. I mean, does it last very long? No. But um, does it give you a nice pout for a little bit? Yeah. It does. But if you have very sensitive skin, I wouldn't recommend it because it will burn your skin. Well, not burn it. It's not like the Duop Lip Venom. That one did. <laughs> I did try that one out back in the day and it burned all of, well, not burned. It just made all this area look so red and inflamed and swollen. Like my friends were crap cracking up. Not crap, crack. Oh my God. My friends were cracking up, but it was so painful. So it's not bad. Like, you'll feel a little sting, and you'll feel your lips getting a little warm, but it's not bad. At least, I don't know. Like, in my opinion, it's not that bad. So that was it for my empties. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I kind of went through a lot. <laughs> 
let me know what you have finished up in the comments below and let me know if you have tried any of these products as well in the comments below if you're brand new take a moment to subscribe to see more of my face <laughs> don't forget to check out my igtv tutorial on this look and i'll see you guys very soon in my next video bye